because the paper has a habit of leaking meaning falling in value <laughs> that's why it was crafted and as the paper fell in value you were ripped off and so they had to prohibit the use of gold as money where were the scholars of Christianity at that time where were the scholars of Judaism at that time where were the scholars of Hinduism and Buddhism and finally where were the scholars of Islam perhaps you know eating roti chanai drinking tetari because here as plain as daylight was something which should have troubled them the Quran the Quran recognizes gold dinar as money the word dinar is in the Quran the Quran uses the word dirham for silver as money and Prophet Muhammad Allah's blessings be upon him clearly clearly defined money as dinar and dirham gold and silver if Allah has made something halal and Dr. Zuhaidi Zainuddin will be happy to hear this now if Allah if Allah has has made something halal and you make it haram or prohibited then that's not just a normal sin no there's one sin only one sin that Allah will never forgive and that is blasphemy the Arabic word is shirk and in Surah al tawbah of the Quran it clearly mentions that this is shirk to make haram what Allah made halal or to make halal what Allah made haram and so in the process of prohibiting the use of gold as money the international monetary system was based on shirk but the scholars of Islam didn't notice it in 1944 because you know the Roti Chanai what is more amazing is that some 70 years have passed since the International Monetary Fund was established in 1944-45 and the world of Islamic scholarship has failed and failed miserably it is an embarrassment to recognize that this is shirk 